What's up guys? Welcome back to Legends Never Die, where neither will you if you know Jesus. I'm just hanging out in my baseball room today, uh, and I thought I would shoot a video, kind of uh, inspired by Mike Baseball Collector, where he's going to do some showcases. And while I w kind of wanted to save this until I hit 100, uh, I decided to showcase my 93 different Perez Steel autographs. So I'll talk a little bit about it throughout. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy checking them out. On my stand here, made by the Drew of Vintage Legacy, uh, we're going to be showing these off. This is Hank Aaron. That's one of the originals, obviously, that you could get signed on card. And here next, uh, a different one. This is a custom. So, Roberto Alomar, custom. Then we've got Louis Aparicio. Uh, shout out to my boy Jason, Everyday Card Collector. And next we've got another custom, Jeff Bagwell, which Mike helped me acquire this one. So thank you, Mike. Next, we've got a custom of the Hall of Famer. You owe an apology to Harold Baines. Next, we've got Mr. Cub, Ernie, Bank, Ernie Banks. Shout out to David over at Cardboard History. I know he's a Cubs fan. Next, we've got a custom of Burt Blylevin. I've actually got two of these signed. He signed the other one to Luca, uh, so I had to do it again. Uh, but he's a 3,000 strikeout club member. And then who else to shout out but Wade Boggs fan himself uh, on the, the custom Wade Boggs there. Next, we've got Lou Boudreau. Shout out to my friend over at Reindeer Studios, Scott. We've got Earl Combs. That's a uh, cut custom autograph. Uh, so shout out to Midlife Sports Cards, Greg with the Yankees there. Next, we've got Stanley Kovaleski. And also uh, a custom cut I did myself. Joe Cronin of the Red Sox. Shout out to Jason, Mr. Fisherbike. Next up, Ray Dandridge. Shout out to AD's collection, Aaron Davis, who loves the Negro League Hall of Famers. Andre Dawson Custom. Shout out to Kyle, Ground Chuck. Andre Dawson, Super Collector. Cho DiMaggio. Shout out to James at Elite Hunters. And then finally, Bobby Dore. Shout out to Eric at Four Leaf Cards. Next up, we've got Don Drysdale, underappreciated Hall of Fame pitcher. Dennis Eckersley, this is a custom. You can still get him TTM. Big, bold signature there from Eckersley. And you've got Rick Farrell, who uh, Dom Staven Sports Cards, big fan of Rick Farrell, and Whitey Ford, the chairman of the board. Next up is a Frankie Frisch. Uh, this is a cut autograph I did myself. As you can tell, it's vertical. It was too big to fit horizontally. This is one I may upgrade at some point, and that's probably the only card that I'll say that about. Uh, throughout all these Perez steals. Next up, Charlie Geringer. Do you know his nickname? It's the Mechanical Man, who had one of the nicest looking signatures in the Hall of Fame. Warren Giles, Hall of Fame executive. Uh, that autographed was a gift from my good friend Scott at Reindeer Studios. So thanks again, Scott. And then finally, uh, I got this custom Pat Gillick signed through the mail, and he still signs for free. So that is my Pat Gillick. We've got one of my Braves here on a custom. Shout out to my boy, Average Braves fan, Jared. There's Tom Glavin. We've got a really cool cut of Goose Goslin. Uh, with the nickname autograph there, which you didn't see him sign his actual name uh, too often. 
Goose Gossage, who also does TTM still. That's how I got this custom done for him. He inscribed it a Hall of Fame 2008, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then this one, actually found in a stack of unsigned uh, Perez Steel postcards that I bought a huge lot off eBay. And I thought this was real. Turns out it was. Uh, I basically paid 66 cents plus the cost of authentication for this Burley Grimes. And for Perez Steel collectors that know, that is one of the tougher on-card Perez Steel. So that was quite a find for my collection. We've got Vladdy on a custom there. We've got another cut autograph of the spectacled Chick Hafey. Not a common Hall of Fame name you hear about all the time. A Bucky Harris, which it's a stronger autograph in person than it is on camera. Uh, it is in pencil, but that was a gift from my friend Frank at Baseball Hall of Fame Autographs. Uh, he said it was perfect for a cut, and I had his permission to do that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, thank you again, Frank. And then this custom, uh, Mike, again, baseball collector, helped me get this signed uh, by Ricky Henderson. Ricky loves Ricky, and so does Jake. Another custom, Whitey Herzog, which I believe John Keating helped get this signed for me uh, in his infamous standing in line for an autograph for Mike Baseball Collector. I think he also got mine. <laughs> uh here is my Gil Hodges, one of my favorites. Uh, I got the autograph from the Drew. It was actually originally on a laundry receipt. And uh, man, this one turned out beautifully. I just love it on that custom. So thanks to the Drew. Looks good on your stands too, my friend. This Trevor Hoffman custom. Again, another national acquisition through Mike. A Harry Hooper cut autograph. Love that one. Also another uncommon Hall of Fame name. If you're still watching this video and you don't like Hall of Fame autographs or Morgan Wallen, you probably hate this video by now <laughs> as I'm just hanging out, listening to him, looking at some cards. Uh, here's a, a Wait Hoyt uh, cut autograph. Here's a Jim Catfish Hunter, uh, which I part of his fingerprint, which is always something I found kind of interesting about this one. Uh, he's a Tar Heel. Born in North Carolina, so I like Catfish Hunter a lot. Here's Travis Jackson, one of the, you know, further back players in terms of the timeline of baseball that could sign these on card. Randy Johnson, the big unit. Uh, there's a custom of him. One of the most special ones in my Perez Steel collection is this Chipper Jones custom because I met Chipper. Uh, to get him to sign this at the National in Atlantic City uh, two years ago. So that was really cool, really special item in my collection. Also got him to say hi to my son on video, which was awesome. Uh, we've got this Jim Cott. Mine has the name spelled correctly, Mike. Inside piece of information there. Al Kaline, Mr. Tiger, 3000 Hit Club member. And then one that is extremely tough to get on card, but is possible, uh, is George L. Kelly. Uh, I've got a cut autograph here, at least for now. Um, I doubt I'll ever upgrade, but who knows? We'll keep rolling here. Got Ralph Kiner. Shout out to Theo Clemente Collector, a pirate there. Sandy Koufax. I uh, got that in a big deal uh, at the National a couple years ago in Atlantic City. Bowie Coon, cut autograph on a custom. And then the fourth one of these, uh, Tony La Russa, which I got TTM on this custom, thanks to my good friend Chris over at Hall of Fame Pullers. Chris, make a video, bro. This is one of my rarest Hall of Fame autographs, toughest. Uh, Tony Lazeri who was the Hall of Fame shortstop for the Murderers Row Yankees. Shout out to Bill, the Hall of Fame collector, who I purchased this autograph from and turned it into a cut autograph. Sent that in myself to SGC when they were still authentic autographs. We've got Bob Lemon, 300-game winner. Freddie Lindstrom, another cut that I did myself. 
which is crazy that I've done some of these because I'm left-handed and scissors are not my friend. And then finally, we've got Ernie Lombardi, Hall of Fame catcher. How many of you know about old Ernie Lombardi? A big boy by most people's standards and yeah, you know, for on-car Perez steals, still kind of a big deal to have a, a Mickey Mantle. I'm glad to have it, that's for sure. Rube Marquard, shout out to Orlando, Collector's Dream. I know he, he really appreciates Rube Marquard. Cut autograph there. The recently deceased Willie Mays, the Say Hey Kid. And Hall of Fame manager, Joe McCarthy. We've got Joe Ducky Medwick, part of the Gas House Gang Cardinals. Hall of Famer cut autograph there. A custom of Paul Molitor, who I got TTM. Jack Morris, you might help me acquire through the National and, and TriStar on a custom. And a Mike Mussina, signed Hall of Fame 19 that I got TTM from the Moose. We've got Prince Hal Newhauser, who is a new Hall of Fame autograph for me this year, which I got at the National in Cleveland. Oh, this next one is one of my favorite autographs of my whole collection, courtesy of Frank. Baseball Hall of Fame autograph, so I've already mentioned once. Uh, he upgraded, so I was able to purchase this from him and I couldn't be happier with it. It's a Kid Nichols, Charles A. Nichols. Kids, if you don't know who Kid Nichols is, look him up. 300 game winner for the Boston Braves. We've got an Atlanta Brave to go next to him. Another 300 game winner, uh, Phil Necro, Nuxie. And then finally, a custom, uh, which I got in Atlantic City with Tony Oliva. We're a little over two-thirds of the way through. Tim Rock Reigns met him in person also at the National in Atlantic City. It's really cool. Tim was a nice guy. He's going to go next to Pee Wee Reese. Shout out to Will, my friend who likes uh, his story a lot. Jim Rice, a custom. I got TTM. And then finally, 500 club member Frank Robinson. One of the early cuts that I did was Red Roughing. It's one of the first ones I ever had. Uh, we've got Robin Roberts. And you guys knew this one was coming at some point. The biggest item in my whole collection, my biggest autograph also, Babe Ruth. My first YouTube video was me revealing this in the mail. How crazy is that? Man, and that was like seven years ago now. Wild. It's my Babe Ruth. <laughs> Never get tired of looking at that. And Ryan Sandberg, who I got TTM on that custom. This one was recently acquired in Cleveland. I love all of these, but... When I can get nickname signed autographs for Ray Cracker Shock, shout out to Dom, Staven Sports Cards, his favorite player. Uh, I love getting these nicknamed autographs. They're so cool. I also clearly don't care which slab they are in. I just want them to be authenticated, uh, you know, by one of the major companies. There's John Sherholz, who I got TTM for free on that custom. And we've got... Bud Selig, same thing. Say what you want about him. He is a Hall of Famer. And he also went out of his way to sign this and send a ball signed for Luca, which was pretty cool, man. He didn't have to do that. And then Joe Sewell. Ted Simmons, signed custom, inscribed Hall of Fame 2020. You're probably one of the only people still watching, so thank you, Frank. Appreciate that, man. A cut auto of George Sisler. Thank you, Mike, I'm a baseball collector. Probably also one of the only few people still watching. Enos Slaughter. Enos Country Slaughter. Man, if that was signed Enos Country Slaughter, that'd be so sick. Uh, he's a Tar Heel as well. 
And then Lee Smith. Don't get me started on Lee Smith. It's tough to get this thing done, DTM. Let's just say I'm not the biggest fan of Mrs. Smith. If you know, you know. Got about 20 or so left. Hall of Famer, John Smoltz. Smoltzy. We've got the Duke of Flatbush. Shout out to Alex Bowman, 53. Brooklyn Dodger, great. We've got Warren Spawn. Shout out to Matt at THA Card Story, the Card Story. And Willie Pops Stargell. Shout out to Donnie Livestream over at Don's Field of Dreams Cards. We've got Don Sutton, uh, who granted, he always signs big and tends to sign on his face on these, but I got the Hall of Fame 98 inscription on mine. Uh, recently acquired at the National in Cleveland. Alan Trammell, custom. This was signed at the National in Atlantic City uh, a couple years ago. We've got Larry Walker, who I did through the mail. Uh, he's doing a paid through the mail service now. And then a cut autograph uh, from Bill, the Hall of Fame collector. He provided the autograph of Lloyd Wayner. We've got... Billy Williams, Cubs Hall of Famer, Zach Wheat, and this is one of the more unique ones I have. Uh, I did the cut myself and took the part where he had wrote my best wishes on the back and put it on this because it's a postcard. I can't take credit for the idea though. Chris at Hall of Fame Pullers was his idea. I love it. I'm glad he told me that. Got a Dick Williams cut autograph. And Ted Williams, Teddy Ballgame, on card, autograph. All right, we're going to finish up here with early win, 300-game winner, and Tom Yaki, which I got that autograph from Frank, Baseball Hall of Fame autographs. Now, if you're still watching at this point, you're a big fan of my channel and or Perez Steels, so don't say anything about it at the end, but if you're still watching and you'd like to get this, which is what the postcards originally came in uh, from Perez Steel Galleries. Uh, I'm going to give this away to someone who tells me their favorite Perez Steel that I showed and your favorite Morgan Wallen song, but you can't say anything about the giveaway. So until next time, guys, keep collecting. God bless.